Hey guys, welcome to another episode of From the Pages of WF Magazine. I am Anthony, this is Collectors Entertainment Network, and we are kicking off 1993 with the January 1993 issue of WF Magazine with The Undertaker and Nails on the cover. But before we get into that, guys, I'd like to ask you, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please comment down below, let me know your WF Magazine memories. Please share this video with anyone you think may like it as well and go ahead and give this video a like because that helps a lot too. Also, go on over to Facebook. Check out the Federation Nation Facebook group. Go and join that and show off your vintage WWF collections. All right, enough of the intro. We have got to kick off 1993 with this issue, The Undertaker. Nails on the cover. Let's get into the pages. All right, guys, here we go. WF Magazine, January 1993. We've got Undertaker and Nails on the cover. And right here, Undertaker versus Nails, their gravest challenge. Shawn Michaels, bags, bulldogs, belt. Bret Hart, the fighting champion, pays his ring dues. The Nasty Boys, heartless and happy about it. And Sergeant Slaughter, WWF's newest head Official and up top Royal Rumble Superstar Predictions. All right, let's get inside. Got this issue on December 8th, 1992. And over here on the inside cover, we've got Coliseum Video Presents. Own your own WWF Wrestling Video Library for only $9.95 each. Six brand new exclusive WWF Wrestling videos and of course you get a free mystery gift as well all right let's keep going here's your information center and look at this if you've dreamed of owning star trek the next generation make it so start with the two hour series premiere for only 4.95 i am a big star trek the next generation fan all right around the ring we've got it it's about jimmy hart and of course, Columbia House uh, Videos, the great 39 cent movie sale. Choose any six movies for 39 cents each. That is a pretty good deal. All right, fan form, you got Bob Backlund. We're gonna take this out before it falls out. All right, and then uh, Electronic Gaming Monthly. Subscribe to that today. All right, Brainstorms by Bobby Heenan. And, of course, you have your give the number one gift this holiday season. Place an order for a gift subscription to WF Magazine. Now, yes, this is the January issue, but, of course, it comes out in December. So, it is still, uh, you still got time to get it to someone for Christmas. And here's the little uh, card right there. All right, news beat. Marty Jannetty returns. We've got Owen Hart bids Brett good luck. And terrific Terry Taylor. Looks like Terry Taylor is back in the World Wrestling Federation, but without the red rooster gimmick. I don't actually remember that. All right, personality profile. We've got the head shrinkers. Good stuff. And a talk with past Royal Rumble participants. There is, of course, Tito Santana, but at this time he was El Matador. But I still think he used Tito Santana. Look, you've got Ric Flair. You've got the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. You've got the Macho Man, Randy Savage. And I guess that's it. And, of course, your Columbia House. Eight CDs or 12 cassettes for one penny. All right, Battle of the Titans this month is Money, Inc. and the Beverly Brothers versus the Natural Disasters and High energy in july wf official signed an explosive eight-man tag team match that pitted then wf tag team champions natural disasters earthquake and typhoon and high energy owen hart and coco beware against money inc the million dollar man ted dibiase and irs and Bo and blake beverly as it turned out this eight-man extravaganza changed each duo's destiny what happened i don't remember does anybody know when this is from? Was it on Superstars or anything like that? Or was it a uh, primetime wrestling uh, exclusive? I don't see any banners there. So guys, let me know if you know. 
All right. Night of Crisis. Bret Hart's moment of truth. I realized that I had faced adversity before and used the experience to make myself stronger. There he is, of course, with the tag team titles and then the Intercontinental title. Of course, winning... Well, they didn't win it with a pin. He won it with the sharpshooter. So I don't know if that was that match or a subsequent match. All right, we have one thing to say about Contra 3 for the Super NES. Oh, is this one of those, like, three-page ads? Yeah, boom. There you go. Pretty cool. All right, WWF trivia. We've got Tough As You Know What, Jungle Giant, Brave New World, All in the Family, and Odds and Ends. All right, and have it all your favorite WWF superstars. Here is where you can get your back issues of WWF Magazine and other uh, publications, programs, and some of their specialty uh, publications. You got the Nasty Boys there. All right, and here is Undertaker and Nails as uh, it was on the cover, your cover story. Uh, nothing that The Undertaker can do to me is worse than six months in the hole. Did uh, Nails actually go to prison with ZNX Con? I, I don't really know. You have never really seen the face of fear. All right, and Super Nintendo, Chuck Rocks, your Super NES. Does anyone ever play that game? I don't even remember that game. Let me know. All right, Jimmy mocks the nasties, and then it says chumps. So I guess this is when the nasty boys turned face. Yeah, it looks like he's uh, they're uh, they're getting on Jimmy Hart, and uh, yeah, they became pretty popular, and they they turned face probably around this time. All right, military cop Sergeant Slaughter appointed head WWF official. Yeah, there he is. There he is with Jack Tunney. All right. All right, and the World Wrestling Federation presents posters for the hottest posters publication of its kind. WWF Posters 4 is now available at newsstands everywhere. This issue features giant posters of WWF Champion Ric Flair, who was not the champ at this time, the Macho Man, Crush, and Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Check out Posters 4 for the best of the WWF. Obviously, the Hitman was champ at this time. All right, Michaels takes the Intercontinental title, a loss for the Bulldog. And here is more of that match. I don't even remember where did Michaels uh, win the IC title. Obviously, the previous SummerSlam is when the Bulldog won it. Did he lose it at, like, Survivor Series? Was it just a regular show? Was it Royal Rumble? Hasn't happened yet. Let me know. Yeah, in fact, there you go. Live on pay-per-view Royal Rumble. Sunday, January 24th, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. You've got the WWF Championship match. Champion Brett Hitman Hart versus challenger Razor Ramon. Plus 30-man Royal Rumble. Every man for himself. All right, you've got your Iker Pro ad. Couldn't care less. Let's just keep going. All right, Private Eye. Slaughter salutes the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. That's pretty cool. Here is some more. Move this out of your way. So you can see all the pictures. Good stuff. All right, in the World Wrestling Federation Lowdown. You've got Bam Bam Bigelow, Macho Man, a fan of WWF Magazine, Muscle Goes Hollywood, Crush and Animal, and Coliseum Video and Ico Pro. And I wonder what that's about. Tell me if you got all your Coliseum Video fans let me know all right viewpoint by mr perfect now for a while mr perfect and uh bobby heenan were trading off the brainstorms column but i think mr perfect he he was did he turn face by this point he had turned face for a little bit so here he is actually so your prime time wrestling here's the picture of him still with bobby heenan so he's a heel then but he might have just recently turned face do you guys remember when uh mr perfect turned face let me know down in the comments below been so long, I don't remember at this time. All right, WWF crossword, and it looks like you've got Tatanka there in the middle. And WWF wrestling spotlight, just when you thought you knew everything about WWF champion Bret Hitman Hart, WWF spotlight brings you an exclusive look at the great young star's life. Pick up a copy when the Hitman hits the newsstands in January. 
All right, and up close, there was Papa Shango's uh, stuff. And here we go, WF Superstars Video Game Mania. You've got it for the Super... It looks like maybe the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo. Uh, and then you've got the Game Boy. And what? And you also got the Steel Cage match, too. So there's a couple of games there, actually, for uh, WF Superstars and Steel Cage. Uh, let's see what's on the back. Just a uh, ad for Hook the uh, Super Nintendo game. All right, so guys, that is the January 1993 issue of WWF Magazine, The Undertaker and Nails on the cover. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of From the Pages of WWF Magazine. We've kicked off 1993 with the January issue. Guys, again, I'd like to ask you, please subscribe, please comment, please share, and please like this video. All right, guys, next week, we're going to look at the February 1993 issue of WF Magazine with Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning, on the cover. But until then, guys, have a good one. <laughs>